ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, YouTubers in China built the first foldable iPhone. But first... The world's population was due to reach record 8 billion people on Tuesday. The United Nations described the figure as a milestone in human development, with a peak of 10.4 billion people expected in the 2080s. It means that a billion people have been added to the world's population in just 10 years. So, where's growing the most? It's mostly middle-income countries in Asia, accounting for an extra 7 million people since 2011, with India seeing 180 more humans. And it will zip past China as the most populated country next year. Next. NASA has confirmed the world's largest iceberg, a.k.a. A76A, is floating from Antarctica towards the warmer seas of the equator. This beast of a berg is about twice the size of London and shines a light on the horrors of global warming. Images of the iceberg were captured by NASA's Terra satellite as it was seen floating in Drake Passage. The iceberg's parent berg, A76, broke from Antarctica's Ron Ice Shelf in May 2021 and shattered into three giant pieces. Now, research by London scientists using a custom-built supermicroscope has uncovered groundbreaking new evidence of how electrical voltage signals in breast cancer cells behave. We found that in contrast with our body's healthy breast cells, the voltage of the aggressive breast cancer cells fluctuated in blinks and waves. And when we treated the healthy breast cells with a chemical known to induce cancer, the voltage of some of those cells started to fluctuate as well. That's co-lead author Dr. Amanda Faust from Imperial College London's Department of Bioengineering, who collaborated with life sciences colleagues and the Institute of Cancer Research. Dr. Faust describes the excitement around the moment of discovery. Oh, beyond compare. You know, to discover these fluctuations, we adapted a microscope that we had built to study electrical fluctuations in brain cells. And this microscope allowed us to literally see the voltage fluctuating in the breast cells. Now the team wants to look at the link between voltage fluctuations and cancer growth and spread. We're going to take these initial findings and we're going to use this uh, microscope and analysis platform that we've developed in order to try and figure out what is the relationship between the fluctuating electrical signals and cancer growth and spread. Chinese YouTubers claim to have built the world's first foldable iPhone. The centrally hinged prototype called iPhone V was built by engineers using an iPhone X and the folding mechanism from Motorola's Razer. Apple is holding out on any plans for a folding device after the likes of Motorola, Huawei and Xiaomi all released flexible models. If you're interested, the build can be seen on the Chinese YouTube channel Technological Aesthetics, which has English subtitles. Would you trust Amazon to drop your prime parcel from four metres in the air? Well, the e-commerce giant has unveiled plans to float its drones above customers' homes in Lockford, California and College Station, Texas. Probably best not to order any crockery, though. Let's go to the ads coming up. The weird and wonderful sea creatures found living in ancient ocean volcanoes. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Researchers revealed how gamma ray bursts are sometimes formed not by black holes, but instead by newborn supermassive stars. Orbiting satellites have picked up luminous radiation flashes of sometimes milliseconds or even many minutes, which happen billions of light years away from Earth. Previously, scientists believed gamma ray bursts were powered by a newly formed black hole. But now research by an international team of astrophysicists led by the University of Bath has developed a new theory. The consortium discovered some of the shortest duration bursts were generated by the formation of a supermassive star, not a black hole. There's reports Amazon workers could be laid off amid pressure to cut costs in the economic downturn. US media is reporting the redundancies could hit 3% of office staff, which is around 10,000 people. Amazon said last week it was reducing expenses to focus on business operations. 
We've asked Amazon UK for comments, but they've not yet responded. And finally, some of the most gloriously weird water creatures have been found in the deep Indian Ocean, living close to volcanoes. Scientists from the museum's Victoria Research Institute discovered the likes of a blind eel with jelly skin, bat fishes and a hermaphrodite lizard fish with fearsomely long gnashes during their nearly 7,000 mile trip to the Cocos Islands Marine Park. The team said they found a huge number of potentially new species in the remote paradise. The volcanoes, which are up to 140 million years old, are three miles below the surface and have developed into underwater caves where marine ecosystems thrive. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the leader. From the Evening Standard here in London, Tech and Science Daily is back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.